hey loves you welcome back to my channel my name is ife pinkies and today i'll be teaching you how to make fluffy donuts with white lines like this if you're new here thank you so much for coming please don't make it your last and to my returning subscribers so let's get into the video so we start by taking measurement of our flour make sure to put your scale on zero before taking the measurements so we're going to need 500 grams of all-purpose flour and that's what we're measuring right now moving on to the measurement of our sugar we need to measure this accurately and we're going to need 90 grams of sugar make sure you measure this accurately next we'll be measuring our margarine or our butter and we need 50 grams now we go into our eggs we need two eggs medium size or small eggs i've measured the first one and this is the second one for the yeast we'll need one tablespoon and that is eight grams and for water you need 150 to 170 grams of water or meals of water this will be according to the flour the strength of your flour so depending on how strong your flour is just add the water accordingly now we have our yeast water sugar eggs margarine or butter and our flour measured out now the next thing to do is to sift our flour it's very important to sift the flour so that's what we're going to do right now you're going to see the dirt or the lumps and all that that, that would come out after sifting it just watch the dirt let me bring it to the camera can you see that's what i'm talking about that is why you have to sift your flour properly so go ahead and sift all the flour and then we move to the next step So we grab our mixer bowl right now and add in the flour. Add in the sugar. Add in the margarine. We're also going to add in the yeast. Add in the eggs. Add in the water. If you wanna add flavor to it, feel free to do that. So we move the mixture now into the mixer and allow it to mix for 15 minutes but if you don't have an industrial mixer like this use your other mixer and mix it for five minutes stop the mixer for like two minutes to rest and mix it again for another five minutes keep doing that till you reach the 15 minutes mark Within five minutes, your mixture should have come together and then you keep mixing. Mix till you get to the 15 minutes mark.
after mixing for 15 minutes, check the dough to be sure that it is stretchy and no longer tearing. And that's how you know that it is ready for molding. You can see what it looks like. So right now I'm measuring the dough to be sure that everything is equal. You want to use a scale in doing this. You can measure from 65, 60, 70, 75, depending on the size of donuts that you want. And that's what I'm just doing right now. Next, you grab your tray with parchment paper, cut your parchment paper into squares and add a little bit of flour on it and move over into molding it. You can see how I'm molding the dough. You want to make sure that it's smooth on all sides. Flip it and lock it. Tap it. Add a little bit of flour on the surface and continue molding till everything is smooth. This part is very crucial in making sure that your dough is properly sealed. Now that we've molded the dough, we're just going to leave it to rise for about 40 to 1 hour, depending on how cold or how warm your environment is. Our dough has proofed and it's ready for frying, so let's get into the kitchen. If you want to know that your oil is at the right temperature, just sprinkle in a little bit of flour. If it sizzles, then your oil is right for frying. And then go over the way I'm, just watch the way I'm doing this. Drop your dough into the oil gradually and repeat the step like that. You want to be careful because you can easily deflate your dough at this point. I'll show you what it looks like when you leave your dough to be overproofed. But for now, this is the right time to fry your donut. This proofed for about 50 minutes because the weather was a bit cold. But then it's, it's between 40 to 1 hour. So you fry on each side for about 2 to 3 minutes. Make sure that your oil is hot but not too hot. You can use a skewer to check just the way I'm doing to know the right time to flip your dough. You can also use this frying spoon to check when it's the right time for flipping like I did just now. It is time to flip and I'm just going to flip gently. Don't forget you can easily deflate your dough at this point and you do not want your donuts to be deflated. Okay. So right now, after flipping, reduce the heat of your oil a little bit because you want it properly cooked inside and allow it to fry on the other side for about 2-3 to three minutes. If you've watched this video up to this point, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe right now. Feel free to use a skewer like I'm doing right now, whatever works for you, or you use a frying spoon. You can use anything as long as you do not deflate the air in your donuts. So I'm just checking to be sure that our donuts are properly fried at this point. So 
So now you need serviette or paper towel at this point. You're going to remove the donuts one after the other and place it on the serviette or the paper towel. This helps to drain the oil off the donuts. I'm just repeating the process. Remove the donuts from the oil and drain it on the tissue, serviette or the paper towel. So I'm repeating the process. Keep doing this and you have to walk fast because at this point your donuts can get over brown and we do not want that. If your oil is too hot for the second batch, turn the heat off. And how do you know that your oil is too hot? If it is bubbling too much, then your oil is too hot. But if it's just sizzling a little bit like this, your oil is at the perfect temperature. Some of the donuts overproofed for this second batch. I'm sure you can see that about two of them overproofed. So you do not want to wait too long before frying your donut. Once your donut has risen, the next thing you need to do is to go into the frying stage. If you don't like your donut as brown as the first batch I fried, then you can fry it this way by reducing the heat a little bit more and allowing this fry, but it will take a bit long. It might take about three to four minutes to fry on each side. Just want to make sure that it is properly cooked on the inside. So now our donut is ready for flipping and that's what I'm doing right now. You're just going to go ahead and flip it gently. Remember to flip it gently so you don't deflate the air in your donut. Yeah, so be sure to use a very good yeast. You need to use an active yeast whenever you want to make donuts. You cannot use a dead yeast. Um, I'll try to upload a video on how to check if your yeast is still active or if your yeast is dead. So you can see the difference between the first batch I fried and the second batch. The first batch was a little darker and this second batch is lighter in color. So you can decide to go for whichever one you like, either the dark donuts or the light donuts. Just make sure that you give it enough time so that it's properly cooked on the inside. So our donuts are ready and we'll just take it out. So this is an up close video of how the donut looks. Just take a look at the white lines. Our donuts are looking beautiful and fluffy. And you can also do this if you follow the steps. If you're still watching this video up to this point, kindly thumbs up this video right now and subscribe before you forget. Thank you. So it's time to coat our donuts in sugar. 
just the way I did in the foil plate. And while your donut is still warm, not too hot, while it's still warm, you just want to toss it on both sides and place your donuts into your fall pack or your fall tray. So you can also fill your donuts with chocolate, with jam or whatever filling of your choice you prefer. But I'll make a separate video showing you how to make the fillings and how to fill your donuts. Take a look at how beautiful and fluffy this donut looks. I'm sure you want to have a taste right now. It is super soft. So right now we're just going to cut into the donuts and see what it looks like. Wow. Wow, this is so pretty. <laughs> Pillow donuts. <laughs> So now it's time to cut into our donuts and see the beauty. This is the real pillow donut. Yes, you can see how soft it looks on the inside and it's properly cooked. Make sure you try out this recipe because I would love to see your creations. I'm sure you found this video helpful. Please like this video and subscribe because I found out that a lot of you that view my videos forget to subscribe. So please do that right now for me. And if you have any video you would like to see me upload next, drop it for me in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.